Yeah, I was watching uh, Bradley back when I when I was in high school, and he was at NC State. Okay, okay. I thought you were about to say NC. <laughs> he was at NC State, and I could just tell like. Out of every edge in his class, he just had a different mode than everybody else, and he was just he was just giving everything he got, and then just watching that and seeing where it, where it got him, it was just like I know I gotta add that to my game to get where he's at. You already got the speed, you already got the bend, you already got you know a lot of the intangibles. It's just about fine tuning them at this point. Just having them in the room, having them on the sideline when I'm out there on the field in practice, coming back to him and just learning from him is it's a blessing, honestly, because having a guy you looked up to and now you know you're in the same in the same room as him is just. It's only a God, God bless him because I'm just, I'm just ready to get better every day and learn from him. My boy, what's going on? Congratulations, man. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. How you doing? Chop Robinson, the best pass rusher on the football team. Bradley Chubb was all over it. Swallowed up right away by Bradley Chubb. Play action from Jones. Steps up in the pocket. Bradley Chubb. So right here we had a, a, a corner blitz on it. And to be honest, wonder like a lot of times in the corner blitz, like you sometimes got to sacrifice yourself a little bit. Like okay, I'm just gonna get in here because the team needs me to be in this gap. Might not make the play, but I might make the play. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna do everything I can to make that play. And so right here, it kind of got blocked up a little bit. Cater uh, got high. Now saw Mac Jones patting the ball a little bit. He had me. I had two dudes on me, so I'm like, man, I just gotta get off this somehow. To get to that quarterback, and boom, he was right there. As soon as I got off, he got up, did my little dance. You know what I mean? <laughs> but at the end of the day, man, like you said, it goes back to that motor, like just not stopping, not being accepted, not accepting being blocked. You know what I mean? Like no matter who's on you, just trying to find ways to get off the play. You know what I mean? And make a play. In the league, a lot of sacks come from just guys having effort. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of guys have hit off the first move, and you know those pretty sacks where you could get the ghost moves and the swipes and all that. But a lot of a lot of those big sacks and big moments comes off just that second, third effort, you know what I mean, to get to that quarterback. So that worked out for me right here. Where well, you get that dance from? It's called a paper chase, bro. I did. I uh, <laughs> got it honestly from the University of Tennessee. They did it like in 2014 or something. I saw like a highlight tape of them doing it. I was like, well, that's hard. My cousin's from Tennessee, so I was asking them about it. And I was that's incorporated into my senior year. And uh, you know, you paper chasing, trying to get to that to the lead, trying to get to the money. So I just said, you know, I'm gonna start hitting it. I got away from it a little bit, but I got back right back to it. They go the other way now, and that is gonna go backwards. Gallup goes backwards because Bradley Chubb was all over it. They got you in space. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like in the in the league, man, it's about what, what all you can do, you know what I mean? And yeah, we, we great pass rushers, yeah, we could do, get to the quarterback, but the more you can do to help the team out to win, you know, that's that's what you're gonna have to do. And so right here, I was in space and coverage. Um, just read my keys, honestly, I had had two to the flat and two went out the block. So, you know, I recognized him going out the blocks, looked back and saw the, the lineman coming towards me. So just shot up and make a play. Zach Sealer did a good job holding the tackle's eyes right here. But, you know, sometimes it, you just gotta make it happen, man. No matter what they have you at doing in space, you just gotta make it happen. So when you when you out in space, are you looking at like a pass read from the tackle or looking at? So initially, I'm looking at the line, just kind of get every like, just kind of see the see the formation, see what it is, and then you saw as soon as the ball snapped, my eyes went to my work. My work went out the block, so my eyes went back inside. It's just like breaking it down like that. Okay, so boom, from pre-snap to post-snap to back to you know to, just to make a play. So just having to train those eyes and make sure that they in the right spot at all times. Anticipation plays a big role in it. Film study throughout the week plays a big role in that because, you know, you start to see certain formations that they get into. You see that it's empty, you know, obviously not, they're not gonna run the ball. So if, if a tackle's coming out to me, then it has, it has to be something, you know what I mean? Lining up on out there in space, it can get a little scary, but once you trust your, your technique and trust your keys, it, it takes it to what you gotta do. One second to snap it. Simeon does on third and 13. Ball stripped out of his hands. It's swallowed up right away by Bradley Chubb. I was having a game this game, I ain't gonna lie to you. And it was just, I was just in the groove, bro. I got off the ball a little late. Wish I would have had a better get off, but he shot them hands and I kind of caught him. And at that point, I was already by him. So I just dipped that shoulder and kept it going. We always talk about getting that ball out. You yeah. know, that's how we start the meetings off. That's how we end the meetings off, is hitting the uh, McFumble in the, in the uh, outside linebacker room. And that's what, what, it, what it's all about, man. Getting the ball, getting it back to the offense. You see what we got on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah. So as many times as they can have the ball in their hands, that's good for us. And then it was so lucky how that ball bounced right back to me. So I, I can't complain on that one. Early in my career, I just kind of got lucky. Oh, boom, I got the ball out. But as I got older and as I've seen how the game goes, like 
as many times as you get the ball. You know what I mean? They talk about the breakdowns of turnovers and being plus in the turnover margin all the time. So that's been my main thing is trying to get the ball back to our offense no matter which way I can, whether it be running down the field, punching it out, or the easiest way to get it on the quarterback because they're not looking at you. They just kind of have it loose and then boom, you just got to tap their hand just a little bit in the south. I remember Coach Crow was showing us, uh, he was showing us like your, your highlights from Denver to like now. Mm -hmm. And then like as it got, as it got, the years went on, you would just, every time you was going in, you would try and hit the ball. Even, if, even if you missed, like you you stuck that hand out trying to get the ball. And yeah. it was a big difference. And you got the fumble recovery on this one. I told you, it bounced right back to me. <laughs> I couldn't do nothing but just hold on to it. Sit up to the top of screen. Finley in trouble again. And down he goes. And the ball is out. Hempstead might have this. Yeah, I remember this play. We had, uh, we had a stun on. So he was basically like, setting the guard up, trying to bait him, and then I was going inside. And then for me, normally we'll try to pick pick the guard, but our coach was telling us like, they leave too much space, so just just go get it. And then once I was able to go in, I kind of missed the inside hand. And I was trying to get the sack. I thought he I thought he pumped fake for a minute. I thought he was about to throw the ball, so right. I jumped up, missed him. Then my safety came, knocked the ball out of his hand. So I just I just jumped on it. And then this one, this was right before half. They was trying to get, get some points on the board, so I was just lining up. They was going to hurry up offense, and I knew they wasn't going on too because they had no timeouts. So I knew the first sound that ball was going to come out, so I was just going. That's what's up. The get-off is crazy, man. It's insane. And you still got that same nice little inside move where you sell that speed up, boom, come inside real quick. Because at the end of the day, man, these tackles, they're scared of that speed. You know what I mean? They're, they want you to dance with them and be in front of them and make it their job easier for them. And you could even stay on the outside how fast you are with the speed you got. And like I said, getting that ball out is the number one thing, man. So I see you already got it in your game a little bit. Now he's gonna have to just keep taking it up, keep taking it up, be as fast as possible. This was this was freshman year. You see, it's a blowout. They they had me go out there. I was just like, I gotta make something happen. It's the bowl game. I did my little New oh. York New York dance. Oh. <laughs> we was playing the pinstripe bowl up in New York. So I just I was just out there having fun. Honestly, I was just able to play as a freshman. Yeah. So I was just whatever whatever came my way to make a play, I just did it. Hey, your rookie year, you're gonna see a lot of that. You, you got to pull that out the rookie year. For yeah, sure. I got job. I'll make it my <laughs> first your, your first one. For that sure. was my first sack in college, freshman year. So first sack in the league, I'll probably just hit the same dance, honestly. I mean, you could see what he says about uh, you know, kind of emulating that that motor into his game. You know what I mean? He never stopped his feet, never um, gave up on the play. You know, even when on that first clip we saw that he might have slipped off the quarterback a little bit, hot stove got right back up, and then on the second one, man, like he said, just kind of. Uh, already having that mindset of getting the football out. You see the quarterback was ready to pass it and you matched the hand and, and got it out. I think they recovered it, but at the end of the day, the quarter, that's in the quarterback's head all day now. Oh man, I just fumbled, he's on my, he's coming. I know he's coming fast and I know he's gonna be right there on me. You know what I mean? So I might as well get it out quicker and quicker, but sometimes that's not gonna work for him. So I've seen him take a leap in, in terms of um, you know, just taking the information in and applying it onto the field that we give them. You know, sometimes as a rookie, you got a lot of people tell you different things, a lot of people, you know, trying to help you out. And, and sometimes it could get muffled, but he's done a really good job of, of taking what's important and applying it to the field. When I come to you out there, everything, you tell me just find, you know, find one thing to do to get better. And then once I focus on that and I accomplish that, I know the next practice, all right. I already did that, so I can add on to that. So we just, just build on it each and every build day. Build on it every, every single day, ever since you told me that, it just, I feel like I've just been getting better in practice every day because of it. You know, I came into a similar situation when I came into the league. My favorite player at the time was Von Miller, and uh, I got drafted there, and I was trying to soak up as much as I could from him. And he poured everything into me, let me know what, about the game, off the field, on the field. Um, and so uh, I, I feel like it's, it would be a disservice to you to not do the same thing, you know what I mean? You said like you emulated my game and try to do some stuff to add to your game. So why not, we here now, you know, why not pour everything I have into you to make this team better, to make me better, to make you better, you know? So at the end of the day, man, this is just about giving forward, giving back to the game. And um, we, we all here to win the Super Bowl. So if if you are the best version of yourself and I'm the best version of myself, how can we lose? You know what I mean? Exactly. Young Damian? <laughs> at least you spelled it right, bro. Yeah, I had to look. I had to look. <laughs> <laughs>